So just how much snow did we get? Well, it depends on where you were yesterday. Westminster, they got hammered. They saw close to a foot of snow. Parts of Denver had about seven and a half inches. I don't think we had that much at our house. Golden and Lakewood both had four inches out of DIA. They only recorded an inch. So a lot of people got much more than expected and they let us know about it. Boy, is this true. So Catherine Winter said, didn't you guys say one to two inches to what Sean Nalen responded? Yes, they did. And shockingly, South Denver and North Denver at almost a foot. Not shocking. It's usually double what they say or nothing. Ouch. OK, 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 let's bring in Marty. Hey, let's do <laughs> Marty. I know that you got a lot of calls and emails yesterday, yeah. but I mean, it's hard to predict all of it. It is, and you got to remember last week, two for two, blizzard on Tuesday and that big storm on Thursday. And, you know, people go like, usually wrong, usually wrong. I'll cop to yesterday. And, I, you know, as I, look at, as I look at that today, yesterday I felt terrible. Uh, you know, you question everything, you know, you go, ah, the you know, laws of physics don't work anymore. I don't know what's going on. And today, as I, as I study this a little bit more, I actually feel better about it yeah. than I did yesterday. And I'll tell you why. This was, and I, somebody chastised me on this on email. They said, well, you said it was such a small storm. That's important. So first off, let's look at the scale of this system. And I have a graphic on that that will show us how big it was. The area highlighted there is the area of heavy snow. It mm -hmm. basically goes from just southeast of downtown, through downtown, through Arvada, and then up about to Louisville. Uh, when you put that into context into the entire state, little blip. that is a little blip and what, why that's important is very hard to initialize. It's very hard to model. It falls between the cracks, so to speak. But then again, you say, hey, your job is to forecast here. And that's true. These are the snow amounts we had. By the way, officially DIA had 1.3 inches of snow. That's what's going to go into the books. So we went from central Denver to Federal Heights to Westminster to Louisville. Didn't make it all the way to Boulder. Didn't make it even to Erie. And in Brighton, we only had an inch to seven. So a lot of people will give you this pat. Oh, this is it. It was an upslope or it was a this. I don't think it's that simple. I have eight separate potential causes for this area of heavy banded snow. Well, number one, it's a hard a tiny scale. It mm -hmm. is hard to model, as I just talked about. Surface wind shear, which is the speed of the winds at the surface and the direction you can create increased lift. Vertical wind shear, meaning from the surface up to a loft, the difference there can create more lift. And did you notice 1.3 inches at DIA, 1.7 inches in Brighton? That acts as an additional cold front, and that creates more mm. lift right adjacent to it. That's why you have that, that hard line there with all that. Oh yeah, I'm not done yet, four <laughs> more. There's another one called CSI and it's not the show. It's <laughs> called convective symmetric instability. And what that is, that's just a fancy way of saying a snowstorm that acts like a thunderstorm mm. because it was so warm on Sunday, we had vertical development and you get heavier snow out of situations like that. Colder air aloft than forecast. It could only have been maybe two or three degrees colder than we thought and created a snow to water ratio of 30 to one. That's which high. means, yeah, for every one inch of water, we had 30 inches of snow wow. in, as a ratio in that area. And then the, the last one on my list was an upper jet max which is just that faster area of the jet stream. And because it's moving faster, it creates a little, a little, uh, uh, what I want to say, vacuum in the upper air, and it pulls the air up more. So it was a tiny area. Yeah. Yes, it was wrong for that area. And again, if somebody says, here's my pat answer for why it was wrong, I say, I don't know. Yeah. You know, honestly, those are my eight, and it could be any combination of those eight in a percentage. Yeah. I mean, well, and that's why they call it a forecast. Right. It's, yeah. it's a forecast. It's, oh, yeah. it's not, you know, future what's going to happen right? for sure. Yeah. Right. It's what we think is going to happen. And you those know? eight reasons you were saying, I would have missed that time and time again well, because there's so many of and them. And here's this is something that's probably going to make a lot of people mad. If you gave me the data I had yesterday morning 100 times, I would get it wrong 100 times. Yeah. I mean, I. Yeah. You know, but let's what, remember I, last I, I week, y'all. Yeah, let's go back. Let's, no, <laughs> no, seriously. Sometimes you get the Rubik's cube and you go, <laughs> no, yeah. I can't get all the colors on one side, and that's just 
the way yeah. it is. All right. Okay. Well, thanks. Yes. So you did get the start of the storm and the end of the storm perfect. That's yeah. why. Right that's on why, time. That's why the amount of snow was so weird. It was yeah. that rate of snow and the reasons for the rate of snow. That's the big yeah. key. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you much for that. It's sure. 6:15 right now. We'll take a break and be right back.